The trail that led our adventurers into the Hill Giant stronghold brought them deep into the domain of the Frost Giants. Now our adventurers were thrust into yet another challenge as they were teleported into the hot and smoky barrens of the Muspelheim, the home of the Fire Giants. The vast rocky halls of the Fire Giants was ruled by the dread king, Snur Ironbelly. It was deep in the heart of Muspelheim, where our party expected to riddle once and for all what was behind this unholy alliance. Surely they would finally encounter the evil genius, or genie, planning these well-executed attacks and controlling the uprising. Snur was said to have more brawn than brain, so he would not have been able to achieve this alone. The adventurers had a sinking feeling that the foes here would be worse than what they've encountered thus far. Fire giants were a formidable enough opponent on their own. Being in their territory with their associates would be more dangerous and fearsome than that of the hill and frost giants. A sobering thought indeed. However, as the danger grew, so did the riches and the treasures that they found. As the adventurers had been told, any and all loot they find on their journey was theirs to keep, so long as the rulers were kept informed about the guiding force behind this unholy union of giants. Now the brave adventurers stood before the black and smoking slag hill. Deep inside would be the hall of the fire giant king. The sky was gray and filled with sooty clouds that made the surrounding area feel drab and evil. A glowing river of lava rolled slowly off the south side. The very air about them felt hot from the smell of heated rock and metal. As they approached, the light grew dim until their path was illuminated only by the red glow coming from the cracks beneath their feet.